The Equalizer is back next Monday night at 11.40. Who knows where evil lurks? The three of us left. Out of four. As if the people are the same. In daring pranks. In deadly games. But games is the way they chose their victims for sacrifice. <laughs> Inside a boy's mind. That wasn't me. Inside a woman's body. If I'm not pregnant, what is it I can feel moving inside me? A new series of stories from the dark places of the mind. Chiller, beginning Thursday the 9th of March on Carlton. Don't watch alone. Coming up next, Gabrielle Clark with all the latest action and the great goals from this weekend in Ensley League Extra. So now, Bob Hendon and Jesse, the favourites in this final, seem set to win it from here. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Now, that's just time wasting. They'll be marked down for that as well. Have a break. Have a kick out. Well, no doubt Bob will be back next year. Though perhaps without Jesse. Ceny nový OS je je vynikající. Opravdu vynikající. OS je vár. Ten nový software od IBM. Zrovna jsem o něm četla v časopise. Máte tam opravdový multitasking? Snadný přístup do internetu. Hrozně ráda bych tu síť vyzkoušel. Oh, to je můj výpr. To clean the dirt in your bathroom, there's Jib Micro Liquid, now with its new improved micro power. On soapy scum and watermarks, just a couple of drops clean better than ordinary all-purpose liquids. So the shine is brighter, and it's brilliant on greasy floors everywhere. Improved Jib Micro Liquid cleans to a bigger, brighter shine all around the home. That's the power of Jib. Discover the fascinating world of minerals and gemstones and learn about the history of our planet over millions of years with Treasures of the Earth. Every fortnight for just $2.50, you can collect a mineral and a gemstone certified by experts and a magazine that explains all about them. Learn why Alexandrite is used in space, how gems were created, even how to organize a mineral hunting expedition. Treasures of the Earth. Issue 1 comes with a ruby and a pyrite for just 99p. Ninety-three, seventy-nine, fifty-three. I don't know how old my grandpa is, but he's younger than he used to be. Someone you know can't wait to go. Disneyland, Paris. It's the best funk album in the world, ever. 38 juicy funk classics on double CD and tape. It's out of sight. It's a family affair. If you like funk, you're going to love this. The fattest grooves, the funkiest tunes. It's got to be the best funk album in the world, ever. Last year, there were over 400 burglaries every day in London. That's the equivalent of one every three minutes. In this week's Crime Stoppers, we're asking for your help to fight London's most prevalent crime. 
I came back and John next door, Mr. Hipsley, met me at the gate. And he said, you've been burgled again, Doris. So I said, how on earth can I get in? So he said, I broke a window in the dining room. I went up with him and found the jewellery gone and money, £80 in money I had. I couldn't sleep that night. In fact, I didn't go to bed and I sat up best part of the night. Well, it was so worrying. Everybody hopes that they won't be burgled and we should all make our homes as secure as possible. But there is something else you can do. You can fight back against the burglar with information. Police are already fighting back. Initiatives like Operation Bumblebee are stinging the thieves and the number of burglaries is falling significantly where they operate. The speakers and the stereo and the television are all stolen. You're also being arrested for that. And you too can play a part. Handling and receiving stolen goods is also a crime. Burglars cannot operate without handlers and having somewhere to sell the stolen property. It is often in markets, public houses and car boot sales that property changes hands. Do you know anyone dealing in stolen goods? Do you know somebody involved in burglary? If you know of anyone involved in burglaries or dealing in stolen goods or have been offered goods at ridiculously low prices, particularly at car boot sales, and please contact the Crime Stoppers number with the details. Collating this information helps police to identify the suspects and stop further burglaries. Crime Stoppers? No, you don't have to give me a name. No. Crime Stoppers works. It's a very valuable example of the partnership between the police and the public. And with your help, if we spread the message, if we get people to use Crime Stoppers, it can make a dramatic impact on crime in London. You can play your part in cracking down on crime. Ring Crime Stoppers. Remember, your call is free, you don't have to give your name, and you could be eligible for a cash reward. Ring Crime Stoppers on 0800 treble 5 treble 1. That's 0800 treble 5 treble 1. Top 24 hours a day, keeping you up to date on all that's happening news-wise. Now, Richard Bath is at IGN with the latest. The chairman of the merchant bank, Bearing, says it was fraud that brought about the crash of his bank. He's accusing Nick Leeson, the trader who's vanished from Singapore, of conspiring with an unknown partner to cause the collapse. Financial Times carries Peter Baring's accusation in this morning's edition. The governor of the Bank of England, Eddie George, said it was a one-off catastrophe down to one rogue trader. The Chancellor announced a full-scale inquiry into the collapse. And in Singapore, the desk from which Mr. Leeson ran Baring's Far East derivatives trading was empty. At his luxury flat, only the cleaner was there to answer callers. Belgian police have deported 140 Chelsea fans after trouble in the port of Ostend and the medieval town of Bruges. Football supporters have been arriving there for today's European Cup Winners' Cup match. There was some vandalism and police are patrolling all night. The London teenager who ran away to Malaysia on his father's passport and credit cards will be arriving back at Heathrow Airport in a few hours' time. 14-year-old Peter Carey was escorted in Kuala Lumpur by a British High Commission official. He had managed to travel the length of the country before finally being picked up near the Thai border. He was none the worse for his escapade. And that's it for now. It only takes a second for things to go wrong. Oh, I have to deliver you here. Okay. <laughs> He may have suffered some form of brain damage before or during the birth. Are you saying this could be Dr. Krish's fault? I think of you as friends as well as patients. Well, we've taken good advice and they think we've got a good case. Jack Krish damaged him. I don't want something back for that. This community turned its back on me, Beth. Career on the line. Peak practice tomorrow at 9 on Carlton. Sport AM. This morning at 1.25, it's Golf from Spain, the Volvo PGA Tour, after NC League Extra. Mm -hmm. 